All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation nine to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm gonna first start by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So these two cancel out to get one. So now I have nine over 25 to the power of x plus 15 over 25 to the power of x is equal to one. Now, 9 over 25, I can rewrite as 3 squared over 5 squared. And 15 over 25 is the same thing as 3 over 5. So 3 squared over 5 squared is the same thing as 3 over 5 squared. And now I have this to the power of x plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, I can actually swap the places of these. So I get 3 over 5 to the power of x to the power of 2 plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. From here, I'm going to let 3 over 5 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0. And if I use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, I get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. All over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4, which is 5 over 2. Meaning, I have 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of five over two. And the reason why negative one minus the square root of five over two doesn't work is because that's negative and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So from here, if I take the log on both sides, I get log three over five to the power of X is equal to log of negative one plus the square root of five over two. So I get X is equal to log of negative one plus the square root of five over two over log of three over five. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So <clears throat> my only variable in this equation is x. So that's the variable I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, So I have three to the power of X plus three to the power of X is equal to 12. And what I'm first gonna do is factor out three to the power of X. So I get three to the power of X times one plus one is equal to 12. Now one plus one is two. So I get three to the power of X times two is equal to 12. So from here, we wanna isolate x. And to do that, we have to get rid of this times two by dividing both sides by two. So now these two cancel out and I am left with three to the power of x is equal to 12 divided by two, which is six. So now I have in basically another equation from this much larger equation. So this is much more simplified. I have three to the power of X is equal to six. So to solve this, well, we know that X is gonna be a decimal because three to the power of one is three and three to the power of two is nine. So X is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of x. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log six. And from here, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. 
So I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. Because again, we want to isolate x. So by doing this, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, what I'm going to do is rewrite log 6 as log of 3 times 2. So I have log 3 times 2 over log 3. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 times 2 is equal to log of 3 plus log of 2. And I have this over log of 3. So now this turns into log of 3 over log 3 plus log of 2 over log 3. And now these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 2 over log of 3. Now, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.301. And log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771. And 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771 is 0 0.6309. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.6309, which is equal to 1.6309. So this is my solution.